The truth is that senior ministers, senior officials, senior advisers like me fell disastrously short of the standards that the public has a right to expect of its government in a crisis like this. When the public needed us most, the government failed. And I'd like to say to all the families of those who, uh, who died unnecessarily how sorry I am for the mistakes that were made and for my own mistakes at that. In February, the Prime Minister regarded this as um, just a, a scare story. He, he, regarded, he d described it as the new swine flu. Did you tell him it wasn't? S certainly. But the view of various officials inside Number 10 was um, if we have the Prime Minister chair in Cobra meetings and he just tells everyone it's swine flu, don't worry about it, I'm going to get Chris Whitty to inject me live on TV with coronavirus so everyone realises it's nothing to be frightened of, that would, be, that would not help. I think that the Secretary of State for Health should have been fired for at least 15, 20 things, including lying to everybody in multiple occasions, in meeting after meeting in the, in the Cabinet room and publicly. I said repeatedly to the Prime Minister that he should be fired, so did the Cabinet Secretary, so did many other senior people.